Now may I invite the Minister of Foreign Affairs of New Zealand, the Honourable Mary Mercalli. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Charge, and uh, can I first acknowledge Commissioner Mamitsa, who uh, has taken the last four or five days out of his diary to travel uh, in various parts of the Pacific in my company and that of Paula Bennett. Uh, it's a great pleasure to share the platform with you today. Can I acknowledge the Chancellor of the AUT, the ambassadors who are here uh, today, and I see quite a number of honorary consuls as well. Uh, can I? Uh, note especially the attendance of the Labour Party spokesman on foreign affairs, Mr David Shearer, Member of Parliament, who uh, shares uh, the government's commitment to advance relationships with the European Union uh, and the many other excellencies and ladies and gentlemen who are here today. Uh, it's been uh, a great pleasure to see this footprint uh, of the European Union expand by the addition of this facility and I just want to add to the remarks that have been made uh, by others about the expansion of the relationship. Uh, I think that there's been something of a tendency for us to take uh, relations with Europe for granted. Uh, until recent times we've uh, uh, reflected on the fact that we share common values and uh, common aspirations, work together very naturally in international fora, uh, and perhaps not thought hard enough about the architecture that needs to sit with a relationship of that sort going forward. And it's been a pleasure to see the uh, political agreement, the, uh, the PAC, as the uh, Commissioner has told us, uh, being concluded. And uh, uh, that's taken a couple of years of intensive work with the discussions now moving on to the FTA. Uh, and the uh, Charge has given us a glowing account of progress in that respect. And I can assure you the government's going to continue to work hard to ensure that piece of architecture is put in place. It's simply uh, going to uh, make it possible for the flourishing relationship we have in every other respect to be uh, replicated in the trade and economic area as we go forward, and it's a critical uh, development for us to land. In terms of the uh, development relationship, this is something new, and you may remark, of course, that the re relationship between New Zealand and the EU is uh, asymmetrical in many ways, and particularly in the development area. Uh, the EU is the biggest uh, and most generous giver of uh, development cooperation funding in the world. Uh, and uh, while we try and do our best, we are uh, modest players by comparison. Uh, but that's no reason uh, for avoiding the prospect of partnership. In fact, it's in this region a very good reason to be partners. Uh, we've decided that we are not being a, a substantial international player in that sense, going to be a niche player. We're going to focus on being very good at doing some things that really matter in our own region. Uh, now the EU has in recent times decided to step up its activities in this region and has chosen to see us as a natural partner. In March of 2013, the European uh, Union and New Zealand hosted, co-hosted uh, the first Pacific Renewable Energy Conference. Uh, and uh, can I say that without the co-sponsorship of the European Union, that simply would not have been possible. Yes, we could have had a modest conference and we could have attracted some Pacific players, but we couldn't have put together the over $600 million of commitments that we did over two days and seen the uh, dramatic level of activity converting the economies of the Pacific region from dependence on fossil fuels to renewable energy that uh, Commissioner Mamita and I have seen in the last few days. Uh, quite frankly, uh, the partnership that has uh, been forged between New Zealand and the European Union has made a tremendous difference uh, to that process in our region. And today we are co-hosting a, a second version of that conference to try and uh, add another level of activity, a second chapter, to this important area uh, for our region. So I just want to acknowledge uh, the dramatic uh, increase in the partnership which has seen us move uh, from a focus on renewable energy now to agriculture and the Commissioner and I have signed an agreement this morning uh, which will formally uh, see us take that forward. So I just want to thank the European Union for the tremendous and growing partnership that we have, to thank uh, all of those who have been responsible for advancing the architecture of the relationship and thank all of you ladies and gentlemen for your support. 
uh, as uh, the European Union expands its footprint here in Auckland today. Thank you very much. May I now invite the Commissioner and the Foreign Minister to unveil the commemorative plaque. And I think now that ends uh, the formal parts, so now we can enjoy a little bit uh, the EU hospitality, European hospitality. Thank you. <laughs>